Hey guys, welcome back to my second channel. Welcome back to Jack in the Books. Now, <laughs> it's very rare that there are videos that I actively do not want to make, like videos that I'm dreading <laughs> having to sit down and film, videos that I wish <laughs> never had to happen, but this is going to be one of those videos. <laughs> this is one of those times because I have a little update to share with you, just a little bit of kind of personal news, I guess. Um, and that is that I am closing down Ink Outside the Box, which is my stationery company. And that breaks my heart, <laughs> saying that out loud, saying it to the camera makes it real. Um, but that's what's happening. Um, I am unfortunately having to close down the company. But the good news is that we're having a closing down sale. So every single product is now 50% off on the website, which I will link down below. You can go check it out. Um, and if there is anything that you want from the website. Now is quite literally your last chance, um, but it is now a, an absolute bargain price. Like it's such a good deal. So um, absolutely every product is now 50% off, but let me explain why. Let me explain what's happening. Running a business <laughs> is difficult. It's um, very time consuming and it's hard work. And you know, there were lots of things that I wanted to do with this company that unfortunately never really worked out. Like I always, hoped that we would be able to establish some sort of like distribution distribution center in America which would make it cheaper um, for you guys to buy things because the shipping would be cheaper. Um, shipping has always been <laughs> such an issue for me because I am very very fortunate to have like an international audience um, but because we were based in the UK shipping fees obviously apply. Um, those you know are not um, decided by me they're just like a standard shipping cost um but i appreciate that like w buying products internationally is expensive um and so i understand why unfortunately it hasn't been like accessible to everyone to buy from this company i started ink outside the box in 2018 so it's been five years um that this has been part of my life and i've loved it i've loved getting to create stationary and having an idea and then turning it into a physical product. So many products that I came up with like never made it um, onto the website as physical products because they just weren't perfect and I wanted everything that we sold to be absolutely perfect and I wanted to love it and to think it was a product that I would like spend my money on too um, if I was going to charge anyone else for them. And so with every product that we ever released that's exactly how I felt. Like I was so proud of those products. They were my babies and Ink Outside the Box has been a huge part of my life and I've loved doing it. Obviously, there was a pandemic. <laughs> Times are tough right now um, financially for everyone, I think. And unfortunately, stationery does seem to be a kind of industry that is suffering as a result of that. You know, um, recently, Paper Chase um, filed for administration as well. That's a big um, uh, stationary company and the reality of the situation is that right now it is hard <laughs> to finance a stationary company that's just one of those things sadly that's just a fact um i think also you know increasingly people are moving to online platforms like notion and stuff like that um to instead of stationary instead of physical products people are moving a bit more online so you know it, it makes sense um but i have loved creating these products um the academic planners, I know um, some people absolutely swear by, and I'm so sorry that we can't produce any more. Um, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to anyone who has ever supported this company, whether that was just like a like on a video, a follow on Instagram, or buying a product, or sharing the products, or um, buying the academic planner like every single year. That means the world to me. Getting to meet people who had the planner, I will never forget the first time I met someone. It was at um, Social in the City in London, and uh, someone pulled the planner out of their um, rucksack and that was the first time I ever saw someone else with it in real life and it was just like, I'll never ever forget that moment. Um, I still get kind of like goosebumps just thinking about it. Um, we actually launched the company when I, so I like did all of the um, planning and the testing all the products and stuff when I was in the UK, but it was during my degree I um, when I went out to China to teach English for two months and so the product had to be, the final final product had to be shipped to me um, in China and then I um, did the reveal video and we launched and I think it was like three o'clock in the morning in China and I sat in my dorm bathroom because I was like sharing a bedroom with some of the other teachers and I like sat in the bathroom 
um, like launching the company and seeing everyone um, buying the products for the first time and we sold out um, on launch day which was so crazy and will always be like a career highlight um, that was insane so the support has meant everything to me so I just want to say like a huge thank you to anyone who's supported in Cat Side the Box um, over the years. We've also been stocked in Waterstones for the last two years which is just so exciting like seeing the products in a real life store is insane like that was mental for me. Um, I always refer to this project as like merch that isn't merch because um, although it was associated with me and it was like for us um, and I loved that people would like make friends at university when they saw someone else with the planner that was so cool um, although it was kind of um, something associated with me it never had my name on the cover or anything like that or like my face or anything I just wanted it to be like a product that um, could exist outside of me um, and if someone saw it they could be like, oh, cool, cool planner, where is that from? Um, rather than it being like, you know, specifically a me product. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I didn't want it to be like merchandise. And so getting to be in Waterstones, getting to go into real shops and seeing it was like so surreal um, and exciting. And yeah, I'm so grateful to Waterstones as well for their support. Obviously, <laughs> we also had some lows. Um, there, was, there was some low moments uh, running this company, as there are with any company. Um, there was the time we got scammed. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Someone basically got in contact and was saying they were like the head boy of a school. And the school wanted to invest in a planner for every single student and it turned out to be fake. It all seemed so legit um, and we were like producing the products for them when we found out that or we discovered that actually it was not real which was not ideal. <laughs> that was very stressful um, and then the most awful thing that ever happened with this company is when our supplier told us and guaranteed us and assured us that they had been checking every product and that's like part of our contract with them. They said that they would check every product to make sure it was right. And then they started arriving and they had all been printed in the wrong order. Like literally, maybe I'll do like a full story time on this one day to like explain exactly what went down and like day by day. But like it was the worst thing that has ever happened in my like career because I just felt like I'd let everyone down. And it was completely out of my control. Like the company literally lied to us and then confessed afterwards once we realized that all the products were faulty they were like yes yeah, so we didn't actually check them sorry about that i was like what do you mean sorry about that like this is my like reputation this is these are my viewers who i care about so much you know i just felt like i'd let everyone down it was the worst thing basically like the the planner had been printed in the wrong order i had been like put together in the wrong order which makes a planner entirely redundant when it's in the wrong order because like the whole point of the planner is to help you plan <laughs> so then oh my god it was just awful it was just the worst worst thing ever we did manage to get everyone a replacement and um we rectified that issue um and hopefully everyone was happy in the end but um oh wow that was that was a real lesson in like business of when things can go really tits up like when shit hits the fan and I was just so gutted that people had to wait longer for the product and that people were let down and, that, and you know when you've ordered something and you're waiting for it and it arrives finally and you unwrap it and you're so excited and then the thought of people who I adore as in you guys like opening that parcel and it not being what you hoped it would be Oh man, that breaks my heart. That was the worst thing. I keep saying like the word the worst because honestly it just it was like such a low moment. So yeah, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a time. And this is where we kind of get off <laughs> the roller coaster, I guess. Um Yeah, I'm I'm gutted that this is how it is, but realistically, um it's a tough time financially for everyone. Um, and for businesses and so um, this is what's happening. Um, I also feel like because it has been really tough it that takes like the passion out of it and like these things are always like creative fun endeavors and then the second it comes down to like having to always think about costs and money and like the fact that we're paying a warehouse to like contain all of these planners and stuff like that it just all the fun gets like sucked out of it um, and that's never how you want it to be. So 
Um, yeah, this unfortunately is the end for Ink Outside the Box, but I love this company. You basically have until the end of February, I think. I guess I can decide. That's the fun part. Um, okay, so let's go with the 10th of March. That's when we'll like close down for good. Um, that's when the website will disappear, but you have until then to get yourself 50% off. Five, zero, 50 percent off any product, including the bundles, which is such a good deal because that means for a lot of the products you're actually paying like only 25 percent of the actual cost because the 50 percent off is applied to an already discounted bundle. So basically if you go onto the bundle section of the website you can get products for great prices. We have notebooks, we have desk planners, we have um, yearly planners which are undated so you can start them at any point which is great and much more sustainable because like if you miss a day, don't make any notes for a certain day, it doesn't matter, you, you don't lose a page. We've got to-do list pads, like it is all so gorgeous and beautiful and yeah, I uh, I really love it. So thank you so, so much for all the support on the company. Um, I'm sad that this is what's happening, but um, that's how it is and uh, I know that things happen for a reason, so it's going to be for the best. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much. Um, the link to inkoutsidethebox.co.uk is down below. And um, I love you guys. Thanks so much. All the best. Stay in touch. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs>